Joanna has a file um, that will help you out uh, dealing with CSS and it's a, a sample file to create two columns using divisions and I actually have three and I'll show you in a second here um, I have three files I'm going to post this up in the classroom I have two files relating to the style sheet and then I have the graphic image so I have sample div.html that's the page file that opens up in your browser and I linked an external style sheet called style CSS and I have a graphic so let's start I'm going to open this up uh, in notepad the style sheet and I'm going to open up the the HTML <coughs> in notepad as well and I'm going to minimize this so let's see what's going on here we have a doc type we have the head <coughs> section the head element which is right here and notice I linked the external style, style sheet that's how you link the style sheet it goes up in the head section um, and then I closed it so, and then I have a body section I have basically I have three divisions I have this division right here for the um, about us text I have one division with an ID of left one division with an ID of right and one division with an ID of main and the main is just this bottom text right here the left one division is over here and the right one is over here and I have about us as a header graph, uh, header text right up top here so with those three divisions uh, actually four those four divisions but um, the, we're going to talk about these two specifically because that's the column that I had laid out now if you look at the CSS the let's put this right here the CSS for this the left division is defined right here okay so I declared it float left and I have a width defined of 200 pixels so it doesn't go any bigger than 200 pixels I have a padding of 5 pixels and top 0 so uh, a padding of 5 that's how it gets shifted over here 5 pixels and the same thing for the right division and the difference between these two I have background color defined on one and I have a background image defined on the second one now notice that the image scrolls I can have uh, you just put background repeat equals none and that will just get, give you one image and I have some text inside here so if you want to control the background color a couple of different ways in a division you can define it here now if you change this to zero we save it here and I'm going to go to this I'm going to refresh notice that the background color changes for that division that's how you can play with color and the declarations of the style sheet and if I can come on if I can get this and we're going to save this again now I can go back and refresh and back to where we were now if you want to change the background color for this whole page itself you can add another declaration up here for the body so if I type body <coughs> and then open up on our open up our declaration and I'm going to type background color and the semi the uh, colon and then we're going to define it uh, let's say we want it gray and we'll close that close the declaration so I define for the body of the page the background color is gray now if I save this file and I refresh the background color changes so when you're dealing with background color that's the easiest way to uh, to achieve this and I'm going to send you, like I said, I'm going to post these up in the classroom. Um, yeah, I, could, I, could, I guess I could leave this here. And I'm going to save, just save, save this file. I'll post about all this up in the classroom, and you can uh, play with the files. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know.